Welcome to our demonstration of laser nesting capabilities within our software. With our part completed and tooled and sequenced correctly, we can then move on directly into saving our part and incorporating it within a nest with other parts of the same machine and material type. We simply set our quantity, rotation angle, and order of priority, whether by size or by length of part. If we require a filler part, we simply put a check mark letting the software know this part is not intended for production, but simply if there's room for it to include within the nest. The software also contains options which allows us to use different algorithm based upon the style of nesting, whether it be rectangular, small quantity, odd shaped, or common line cutting nesting. And if we do any of our first three algorithms, we have the option of pairing parts together with themselves and common lining a shared edge. We then simply place the stock size and margins for the material we'll be nesting upon, and then proceed to do our nesting. Once we receive our result, we can review the individual nest screens as well as open them up and view the sequence and simulation. On some of our final sheets with less utilization than we would like, we can open these items up and make use of our slice option. This will simply create slices to remove any of the excess scrap from our sheet. Note it does not cut into our parts and stops short creating a tab. This allows for thicker plate materials to be easily removed from our machine. If we have designs to use a scrap piece of material later on, we can simply auto save it. And the next time we begin to nest, we simply add our scrap material from a database that maintains the information. We can now tell our software, our scrap sheet has first priority for nesting and full sheets have second. When we proceed with nesting again, we can see that our software first made use of our scrap sheet for nesting and then proceeded on to use full size sheets. We then simply generate code for all patterns, have sequencing take control for all sheets at once, and apply any post settings that are required. We then receive code that's representative for each pattern that was generated. We can make use in our code of subroutines or have flat code if required. Once we're secure with the process of our nesting, we can then proceed to view our nesting summary to view if all parts were nested and the quantity of sheets used. We may also open the individual layouts or from the Nest job screen, print out a report to give to our operator. From these reports, we can view an overall view of our nested sheet, thumbnail pictures of the individual parts, as well as time study information on the complete sheet by individual part and the individual parts information, such as nested quantity and how many were on this individual sheet.
our nest is now able to be sent down to the machine and begin production. This concludes our demonstration for laser nesting software.